K-I-L-R Killer Games Welcome everyone to Total Blackness Darkness Fright and Fear Oh no It's I, Killer Gamer And I, Nerd Gamer 2K And we are going to play Amnesia, The Dark Descent. And yeah, in this game, oh yeah, we're probably going to get totally owned, and owned again, and, and seriously yeah. owned. Alright, so what is Amnesia? Well, to put it simply... Amnesia is a survival horror video game by Frictional Games from 2010. Came out for the PC, Mac, and Linux uh, platforms. It's designed as an adventure game where there are physics-based puzzles and interactions. What exactly does that mean? Well, that means opening and closing doors, opening and closing drawers, peeking out of a barely open door, Fixing machinery, pushing, pulling levers, turning wheels. So it's not a simple matter of clicking a door and it opens. You click it and you drag yeah. and pull, um, you know, to open and close and stuff like that. You can also throw things. Yeah. Um, so in this game, you play as Daniel. And there are two indicators to keep track of. There's health and there's sanity. So, sanity... There's losing and gaining sanity. You lose sanity by being in darkness, staring at monsters. Uh, it, losing your sanity causes hallucinations, which draws the attention of more monsters. <laughs> oh, wow. So when you gain sanity, how you gain sanity is by being in the light sources, such as candles and lanterns. And also, when you complete objective and, uh, like, advancing the story, that also uh, helps you gain sanity. And then there are the monsters. Yeah. They will chase you until you are out of sight. There are no weapons in this game, so you must run and hide or else. They move extremely fast once they have spotted you. And you can hide in the shadow from them, but as we were mentioning, it's at the cost of sanity. Alright, so there, there were some expansions for this game. There was the Justine downloadable content. In this one, you take control of an unnamed female character who, wa who awakens from amnesia. The game has multiple endings depending upon how many puzzles you solved and how many victims you saved. Then there is Amnesia, a machine for pigs in 2013. This is an indirect sequel um, which has a different alternative new timeline and it's got different characters. And then there are the custom created uh, fan stories, mods, stuff like that. All right, so let's take a look at the manual, because I thought this was relatively interesting. So here's the introduction. Amnesia, The Dark Descent, is a slow-paced horror game and is meant to be played alone in a dark room late at night. Oh, yeah. It is not a game that is meant to be won. The goal is the immersion itself and to live the game's world and story. For the best effect, make sure that the gamma is set correctly in graphics options, wear headphones, and have volume cranked up. But not too high. <laughs> Our desire above all else is to give the player an uncomfortable and haunting experience, and doing these preparations will drastically increase the intended effect. The core gameplay of Amnesia is the exploration of the environment to discover clues and to survive, both physically and mentally. Make sure to investigate the surroundings at a gentle pace and be wary of any strange sounds. It can be vital to your survival. All right, so here are some of the uh, little icons that we will see. There's the default hand. This represents the widest range of interactions and 
exactly how you interact depends on the, on the object that's in focus. Um, then there's the push one. So your hand's kind of stretched out like you're pushing something. Push an object. Um, you hold down the left mouse and then you WSAD, which are the movement keys, uh, in that direction to move the object about. Press right mouse button gives it an object a hard push. All right, pick. Uh, this I icon appears when an item is in focus. When clicking the left mouse, the item in focus will be added to your inventory. There's ignite. Um, when a light source is in focus, the icon is shown together with the current number of tinder boxes in the inventory. Um, if you press the left mouse button, the light source will be lit and the number of tinder boxes uh, reduced by one. There is the enter level door. This icon means that the object in focus is a level door and if the left mouse button is pressed, a new level will be loaded. Always try and make sure that the current level has been investigated thoroughly before entering a new one. And then there's climb. Ladder. Pretty, pretty obvious. To climb an object, usually a ladder, just press the left mouse button, no need to hold it down, and then press the right mouse or space jump to dismount. So, yep, that's what we got. And uh, you're going to jump into this and pretty much get freaked out. Prepare to be scared and owned. Frictional games. Big metal thing. Well, support from Norden. Yay! Norden Game Program. Welcome to Amnesia The Dark Descent. What follows is a couple of quick messages on how to get the best possible experience. All right. Amnesia should not be played to win. No. <laughs> Instead, focus on immersing yourself in the game's world and story. Do not worry about when and how to save during gameplay. The game will take care of that for you. When you want to leave the game, just choose Save and Exit. You can then use Continue to return to where you left off next time you start up the game. What if you die? <laughs> <laughs> if you die. The world of Amnesia is a dangerous place and you are extremely vulnerable. Do not try to fight the enemies encountered. Instead, use your wits. Hide or even run if necessary. The interplay between light and dark is very important to the game, and because of this, it is vital to set up the gamma correctly. Use the slider control below to do so. Adjust it until the square at the right is barely visible. I can barely see it. Yeah, I can I can see it, but... No, on the right. Oh, it... That's the left. Yeah. Oh, I see. Hold on. So it's talking about that square right there. Adjust it. Man, use the. Where did I see? Right. At Empire Line. Very important. Oh. Adjust it until the square at the right is barely visible. Okay. You can barely see it. Th that's making it higher. Yeah, I know. No. Okay. Right about yeah. there then. So you had it correct. Well, no, it was at one. That's it. It's still the same. No, it, it, it goes up a little bit. Changes. Unless you think we should leave it at Gamma 1. I, well, I can barely see that. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Also, make sure to play in a dark room and wear headphones for the best effect. Yeah. My headphones are blasting. Mine are not blasting. I don't, I don't have... Well... If I can't hear you, it's not my problem. <laughs> That is all. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thanks. And immersing yourself in the world of amnesia. Exclamation point. Dot dot dot. Loading. Oh, I can hear some music now. Create enter name for profile. I'm just gonna have one headphone. 
isn't story gu or isn't stereo going to be important? Like hearing something from the left and the right side. Well, maybe hearing you is more important. Oh. Okay. Well, could be. All right. There we are. <laughs> Amnesia, the dark descent, it's on fire. Custom story, options, change for... Let's look at options here. We got show titles, show effect subtitles. Show hints. Always. Death hints. Always. Show crosshair, good. Focus icon. That's probably fine. I ain't worried. Commentary. Uh uh. <laughs> Graphics. Yep, I say we'll probably keep it there. Input. Whoa. What was that? I got a shiver. Yeah, there, it's cold in here. Yeah, the, it, we'll see that adds to the effect. Oh, jeez. Sound. Master volume. This is what I'm using to record, so that's why it says that media. I don't hear it. It was making like a dripping sound. Start a new game, are you sure? Uh, yeah, I guess so. So we are like, what, in some type of dungeon or castle or something? In a castle, basically. Alright, where are the keys? Alright. There's no joystick controls on this, apparently. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. Shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at, at uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. Yes. Focus. My name is. Is. I am Daniel. Never forget. Just in case you're warning, folks, I have never played this game before. I've never played it, but I've watched and forgot. Yeah, I can hear. It may not be as loud as yours, but I can definitely hear. Memento has been added to the journal. J. Go back us to your mementos. Press M. Looks like he's turning around. That's your sanity. Oh. Well, let's look at J then. Notes. Diaries, mementos. Well, let's look at notes. No notes available. Alright. Diaries. No, none available. Mementos. Follow the liquid trail and find its source. I guess that's our clue? Yeah, basically. Clue, clue, clue. What's that? I heard a drip. That was this. Oh, that's you. <laughs> Sorry. Grab it. That no. lights it. Yeah, grab that. Pick it up. Okay. Okay, we're grabbing an object. Press right mouse button to throw it. Hold down R and move the mouse to rotate it. Okay, so... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hold down R and... I'm holding down R. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, that doesn't quite rotate. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Weird. You should chuck it somewhere. You think? Yeah. You don't think I'm going to need it? <laughs> I don't know why you need a pot. To throw at someone? I guess we should probably practice, huh? Throw it at that curtain up there. Woo! Alright. Don't disappear. Yeah. We can't take that with us, apparently. Oh, we don't have anything to light it anyway. 
Can I just, like, go out of here? Alright, so we have to follow the water, right? Yeah. This water? The liquid trail. That pink stuff. See? Oh, that. Oh, that. Wait, there was a door. There is? To your left. To your right. To your left. To your Over there. Yeah. Always check everything. Like, every little piece of Maybe everything. You should look in here, then? Sure. no corner to come around from. There's a door. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hold down left mouse button and move the mouse in order to move the door. Press right mouse to throw the door. Oh, I see. What is this? Tinder boxes are used to light candles and other sources. The current number of tinder boxes is shown in your inventory, which is tab. Um, health. All is good. Crystal clear. I guess that's my brain. Sanity. Journal. Contains all journal stuff. Tinder boxes. I only have one. Can I carry this with me? Apparently not. No, but you can carry the chair with you. Would I want to? Keep you company. <laughs> yeah, nothing quite like a chair keeping you company. I can't really sit down in it, it looks like. What if something comes around the corner and traps us in this room? Then we close the door and run! And the way that's going in and out is just... It's also to mess with you. Like a haunted house. I'd say it's messing with me because it's going sideways and stuff. That's a very big door. See that? Yeah, it looked like you were like falling or something. What's up with that? Alright, well the trail goes that way. Let's go over here, maybe. Mm, nope. There's a light. Here's one tip. Save your lights, like... Oh yeah, no. Save them until you really need them. Oh yeah, no, I intend to. Alright, well, I guess we have no choice but to... Move forward!
think we should go? Check out this big door or go in there? Check out the big door. Maybe it doesn't want you to leave. Maybe. Maybe that's the way out and then it won't let me. How cruel. It's like cruel and unusual punishment. Oh! Door. That just sent a chill. Always check those cabinets also, if you can. We can just maybe shut that door at the moment. Sounds like the TARDIS doors when you open and close it. <laughs> yeah. Tinder. Uh, apparently, I can't take that. That's not a switch or anything. Oh, I can shut the doors. Yeah, one of the best hiding spots in the game. Side. It's easy. Pop in. Yeah. And bring it towards you. No, hold on to the door. Yeah. And then bring it towards you. Ah. Uh. And then you can have like a little crack open or something to peek out and outside if something's outside. Oops. And don't do that or else it'll find you. <laughs> And you can close that one too. Alright. This guy breathing is making me furious. And the footsteps when he walks. Smack yourself in the face. Shield. Well, I don't see anything else in here. That room is just messing with us. How do you run? You use shift. Oh, you have to use shift. Yeah, you have to hold it while you run. You're going backwards. No, I know. I was testing it out. You can't run backwards.
It's a broom. What can we do with the broom? We can clean the floor. <laughs> I don't know. Some stuff is just for decoration, like a bottle. That was wonderful. <laughs> You'd be an amazing janitor. We can use it to... Oh, that's right, I can rotate it somehow. Oh, there we go. Maybe we can just hold on to it. And then, you know, when someone comes after us, we can just hit them with a broom. But remember what the instructions said? Yeah. Never try to attack the monsters. Never try to attack Run them. away. Don't make eye contact. Look at their feet. Well, the only way to look at them is if we were, like, right up close to them. Not necessarily. Oh, I see. He's on a moped. No? Never mind. He's playing okay. violin. <laughs> yeah, it did kind of look like he was <laughs> on a moped or Yeah. Sort. That'd be kind of funny. We're like in this renaissance place, it's like, it's riding a moped. I want to live in a house like that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> without monsters. Too dark and dreary and Yeah, but it's old fashioned, it has candles. What was that? I don't know. Now it sounds like we're on a boat. Maybe it's that swinging back and forth? I hope so. Is there a shadow or something? I don't see a shadow. This guy breathing. It's driving me crazy. anything just appearing from behind us, right? No. It would appear in front of us if there were to be one that Because appeared. basically anything that's that we've came from, there shouldn't be anything appearing there either. No. Nothing spawns. It patrols. It's kind of like a... Like a... Like, you know, Ever... Not EverQuest. Like... What's it called? That game. What's that game called? I don't know. There's a lot of games. Like, um, with the dungeons and stuff. Whoa. What the heck? Is that him going, losing his sanity, or what? I think. I don't know. Check your sanity. Let's go over here. But I forgot the name of that game. Well, everything's fine. It's the, it's part of the Elder Scrolls. Well, there's Morrowind, Oblivion. Oblivion. Ah, okay. Where like if you sneak up on someone and you like make a noise and they're like what was that it's kinda like they continue their story without you needing to proceed something for them to do that oh I see What 
happen if we would just run like nuts throughout this castle. Just, just run through it the entire game? Yeah, just, just run all over the place and get lost. Oh my goodness. You'd probably miss very important stuff, I would think. Door! Leave us alone! This is like a freaking haunted house. Yeah, it makes me feel like I'm going through one. We can pick up chairs. I guess we can throw them at monsters, maybe? I don't think it'll do anything. Oh, it's a wardrobe. Or cabinet. Wait, can you open it? Oh, you can. What's in it? Jump. Jump. Space. I don't see anything. Freaked me out there. <laughs> A tinder box. You're losing your sanity because you're in the darkness. Go in the lightness. There you go. I didn't think it was that bad. I was kind of seeing what was going on. Even if you're in the dark for a little bit, you lose some of your sanity. It's insane. Oh, there's two ways to go. How nice. And there's something over here. I guess let's go ahead and check this then. It's so fancy. Aww. There's nothing in here. Whoa! Beware, when standing in darkness, your sanity will slowly drain, turn on lights in the environment, use some tinder boxes, or search for other sources of light. So just get out of there. Like, you saw how fast that was? That was intense. So there's probably, maybe, nothing in there? I don't know. You might want to light a light, just in case. Don't we need a candle or something to take in there? No, there's candles in there. We have to find it, though. I kinda see one. Just go, go straight. You'll see it. Because your eyes will adjust. Like any normal human being. Let's see. Go all the way to the corner. Yeah. Alright. You sure we think we should use this? Wait, just look around, because you can see. Alright. Sounds like cockroaches. I don't see anything. So he's kind of, like, gonna start hallucinating and hearing things and... Oh, yeah. Make sure your sanity's high or else the game will just go haywire on you. Or you'll go haywire on the game, whichever go comes first. Wind! Nothing there. And a door. Is this a level door? Yeah. Normally it means you can't go back. Well, I 
think we got everything that we can from back there. I right? think we did too. Alright. Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglect of family. Rainy Hall. Oh, I guess you. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't go back. So if we get chased, can we just go back to the Rainy Hall? Will they follow us? They can't, because it's a new level. Ah. It's kind of like in Escalon, when you have the monsters downstairs and you go upstairs, they can't follow you. It's kind of like that. Whoa. What was that? Fire? Books falling? Oh, thunder? Stuff falling. I keep thinking there's something like... Just keep going, just keep going, going, going. What is that back there in the background? It looks like a window with a bunch of wood on... covering it. Whoa. saying unsettling events will reduce your sa sanity. It can be increased by completing puzzles and making progress. My goodness. That is very unsettling. Oh, oh I guess you can't go back. You might want to go in that room. There might be light. Ah. Ah, leeches. I think. I think. Well, you're going insane. You're hallucinating. Well, I get those thingies. Always good to check above too. Jump. Oh. Nothing up there. I love the music. Is this stuff we picked up? No. It said something about a puzzle. Maybe supposed to make a something to step on? Do you see anything on top to step on? Well, no, but there's these boxes. Yeah, there are boxes. You can use them to step, to like stand on, to look up and grab things. That's why I'm wondering if maybe there is a. You might want to find some light. There's light right there. Oh yeah. You might want to go in the light. Well, I mean, the fact it was talking about a puzzle, does that mean that there's a puzzle in here, or there's a box up there? I think it's just talking about, like, in general, if something uns unsettling happens, then do a puzzle. That's just any old box. Do nothing with that. From what I can see. From what I can see, also. I don't think there's anything more we can do in here. No. Why can't we just climb out there? Yeah, no kidding. It's right there. Can we just like maybe 
put the stack the bat boxes up maybe and get out? Oh um, no. Game's not programmed like that. Of course not. What's this in the corner? Check your sanity. Always check it regularly. Head is pounding and heads are shaking. That's a one layer bef down. Health is normally when you get injured. Like, you'll you'll hear a Ugh! Like any normal game. Do you heal? Um, no. You have to drink, like, healing potions. Or thingies. Healing thingies. Same with your sanity. Except when you do levels and yeah. So you might want to find a level. Or not a level, like a thingy. Oh, the liquid! It went that way. I see it. I'm just standing in the light. Go in there. It looks like a room. Yeah, I see that. I thought maybe we wanted to check what was over there. No, check in the room. Because, well, there's a monster over there. I don't think there's anything over there. Uh, just more light. Exactly. And wind. I don't like that noise. Okay. Let's go in the room. Why is there light like that? That was a table over there. It looks like a table. I don't think there are table monsters. No, I wasn't sure if there was someone standing all the way over there. That'd be obnoxious. anything. <gasps> Lantern! Oh, right there. If you didn't grab that, you'd be doomed for the rest of the game. Is that the only lantern? That's the only lantern. But you can fill it with oil. Once you run out of oil, that's it. Until you find more oil. It's kind of like... I can't read that, can I? No. Like, you know Slender Man? Kind of. Do you know the gameplay? Not really. Okay. Well, here's... Um... You know... Uh, maybe it's with it. Like, Alan Wake, with the flashlight, where yeah. it goes out of batteries, and then you refill it with new batteries. It's kind of like that with the lantern, so use it wisely. Or else, you'd be doomed when you really need it. Here. It's all fancy. More books. Can't really read anything. I don't think there is reading books. I'm not sure. I don't want to go in there. Oh, and by the way, for a lantern, if to take it out, just press L. Oh, okay. It's like the keyboard's black, I can't see anything. I'm like, where's the old key? Do we want the... Well, we need oil. We don't have oil, do we? Yeah, we do. We might. Hang on. Yeah, we have some. Is that it? Yeah. Oil. Does that fill up when you have oil, or...? Yeah, it fills up when you put oil in it. And it goes down when you use it. Well, I mean, I, did, I didn't know if the picture showed how... It shows how full how full your oil is. So it's like a quarter of the way. You might want to use your lantern. I don't know. Because your sanity is going to go down. It still is going down. Just 
down here for the moment. It won't bring it up. Slight headache. That's because you grabbed the lantern. You did a puzzle. So how much oil? It doesn't look like no, we don't have very much oil in there. No. Lantern, yay, nay. Yay. Very, very yay. Where's right. the L button? That didn't do nothing. Maybe it's not the L button. Go for the lantern. F. That's why. F. Uh. So it's... Okay, oh, that makes sense. Key. That, okay. that would make sense. But don't leave it on all the time. Light one of those, maybe? Yeah. We have seven. Okay. Can I take that with me? No, you can't. Well, that's at least something. Now it's complete black. I need the lantern again, don't I? Yeah. Ah! Another door. Looks like there's lights in here. Also, to let you know, a nice feature is this. Oh, what in the... Oh, that's Q and E. Okay, that gotcha. way you can tilt over. You... Did you put it in? What the heck is going on? Don't waste your lantern. I'm not. It was... He was getting freaked out. That's just how the game is. It's not, he's not getting freaked out. It's freaking us out. Because I was coming over here into the light, and he was getting all scared. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on its own. Stupid box. Move over here. I can't open that, apparently. No. Books. Maybe there's something up on top? I don't know. Nope. Aha! Oh yeah, always do that too. Move stuff all over the place. What about that one room that had all those boxes? That I one, I don't remember. It, it would have just been like a tender box. I'm about to sneeze. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a monster. <laughs> oh no! You can open it. That's set so that on cool. fire. Whoa, it has shadows. That's so cool. No, <laughs> you can't set it on fire. Whoa. <laughs> it's just standing up in place. What the? <laughs> Look at it. It's standing in place. 
That's creepy. <laughs> I guess you're not a bad janitor after all. Whoa. I just drew it. <laughs> Who's doing a dance? Jump up. Oh, that's what I think of. Yeah, see if there's something down there. No. Sometimes there's hidden stuff like that. Oh, I don't see anything up here. That almost I was thinking that was kinda like a trap. Like a door? Something, yeah. That would have been a really big door. Why? Because of the way it's sitting here on the keyboard. Ah. Uh, go to the desk. It's telling you to go to the desk. That was pretty cool. Read the note. Oh, oil! Okay, so what you can do... Double click on the oil thingy. There you go. Aha. Uh -huh. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits, and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. ends here. I don't see the trail going anywhere else. You, you could check your mementos and see if something came up. Well, there's definitely nothing else hiding in here, it looks like. Which is always good. It's cool breaking those. Like if you go from a distance and then shoot the glass bottle at other glass bottles, it like cr cracks a lot. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, I can't pick those up. There's blood on the ground. Sometimes things are very unbreakable. So I wonder if this is the potion that he drank to try to forget stuff. The pink stuff? Yeah. Well, what do you think? You think this is a good place to kind of stop for now? Sadly, yes. Okay. Because it's a cliffhanger. Yeah, I know. Before we do, let's just... Um, I was going to say, let's look in the darkness. Maybe not. Turn your lantern on. For like a split second. Good point. 
Lever. Lever. Where? Right there. Oh, I see it. But do it, do it, do it in the next episode. Yeah, I will. Let's see what else is in here. Might want to hurry. Don't waste all your land. Too bad I can't pick up that light and walk around with it. That'd be awesome. I, that would be awesome. It's your sanity. I think it's fine. Your sanity is fine. How much oil did we use with that? About that amount. Just a little bit. Though. Okay. Because I never know how quickly these things go. If we can just get oil and fill this whole thing up, that would be awesome. You have a slight headache. Momento. Notes. That's weird. So he wrote himself something. Before he took the amnesia. The amnesia potion thingy. So from what I understand is like he took an um amnesia pill potion whatever to forget about um Alexander that guy that he mentioned in the note. But yet he has to kill him. And the monsters or something like that. But before he took that, he wrote notes throughout the story, like throughout the castle, to help himself when he didn't remember anything. Which I find kind of useless, because why would you f write all of those, forget, and then, yeah. Well, there's that saying that sometimes too much information is too much. Ah. So maybe he just knew too much information, and it was... Maybe. Like people wanted to know something? Either that or just more of the information was just driving him mad, and so the best way to do it was just to forget everything. And then just go to conclusions? Like kind of wipe the slate clean or something and kind of start over. I'm sure we'll find out why exactly he took that. Because he, what he was saying in the note is that um, you don't want to remember or something? I don't know. He said, don't forget. Oh, don't forget. I don't know. We can always go back to it. Like, when you go to the notes, and then you click on the thingies. Alright, well, yep. I guess we'll stay here at this uh, desk. And, uh... <laughs> we'll save and exit. Alright, folks. Well, we didn't get owned in this one, but we sure got... Um... Scared. Well, maybe not scared, but kind of on the edge. You know, with like trembles going up and down your spine type of thing. So, well, thanks for watching. And if you've played this game and you're just laughing to death, well, glad we could be entertaining. <laughs> yeah, we have no clue what's going on in this. I'm not watching the video, so maybe that's the whole best part of it. I don't know. But anyway, click like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We got more videos too, so if you like gaming videos um, and you just want to hear us stumble all over all of it, hey, it's all cool. So uh, we'll see you next time if we can remember and, and don't have amnesia or something. Oh, yeah.